Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video. So we are going to talk about Sing Thing Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a gradient in Sing Thing uh, Studio in something not uh, really easy at the beginning. If you like my videos, you can subscribe to my uh, YouTube channels, many different, uh, many uh, different um, videos, tutorials about different software. If you want to learn more about Synthing Studio, everything is on the first link on the description. You take a glance, complete course. If you want to have all the information, master Synthing Studio, it will be in this first link. So let's uh, start with Synthing Studio. I'm going to zoom a little bit and I would like to create a gradient just on the background. When you work on the background, it's uh, simple. You just use the gradient tool like this and you can have the default gradient on this area. So you can edit, you have a first print, you can activate the first color and you have a second print, you can activate a different color like this each time. So I can click on these two color and if I just go left click, I can create and pull my gradient. This gradient will depend about what you choose on the right. If I take my tool again, you have layer type, linear gradient, radial, conical gradient, spiral gradient. Let's use the basic linear gradient. It will be the same thing for the other's possibility. Just go left click and create your gradient like this. Um, now, the next step is to go on these options. If you want to edit your gradient, you go left click here and same principle, you can click on the print and I can use red color. I can click on the second print and use, for example, blue color, just like this. So this is the type of things that you can do. Then you can at any moment take this print take this print and if you uh, you can add more print like this and make something like but if I use this, you will add more gradient. So one of the best things to do is to set your two point at the beginning like this. And if you want to drag and move, you need to change for your transformation tool. And when you use then your transformation tool, you can make some transformation with your gradient, just like this, as you can see. So this is the type of things that you can do to create a gradient on the backgrounds uh, like this. You can also, you have point 0.1, point 0.2, you can change the value if you want. Now let's just uh, remove that. Uh, I can click, right click and delete layer. Let's add a background color like this and I can activate the grid, create just some basic rectangle. Uh, I need to snap to grid. It's going to be better. It's just like this. Uh, now I'm going to apply some uh, background color. Yes, here. And uh, at the same time, deselect everything, create another rectangle. Why not on this area? Just like this with any color. Uh, let's change the color for green. And I'm going to create another a circle. Create a circle here, select the circle tool, layer type, circle layer on this area. And I can drag and move my circle here. I want to, I'm going to deactivate the grid. I want to act to create a gradient only inside the circle. How to process? First, if you click on the circle layer, you use your gradient tool, click on the gradient tool, just go left click inside, take a glance, the gradient will be applied apply on all the layers below. So this is why it's not useful. Um, so this is why it's not really interesting. Now, if you want to apply the gradient only on a circle, you have two things to do. The first thing that you need to do is to create a group. So you press control with gradient layer and circle layer, right click, group layer. After to have a group inside, you have the gradient and the circle. But why it's not working again? Because when you click on the gradient, you need to change the blend mode, blend method here. 
and you can change composite and you have for example on two it's going to work but you can also work straight on two it's going to work also and now take a glance the gradient is inside the shape so this is why it is useful after you can edit your gradient you can click on the first print or edit the color why not to apply some um, yellow color like this and I can click on the second point with my selection tool and I can also just click here and activate the red color and I created a gradient linear gradient after at any moment if you want you can create also other type of gradient but here I'm just going to show you with a linear like that so this is why it is useful you have two steps to respect you need to create a group with the shape and the gradient and you need also to change the blend mode of the gradient to strain to onto or again strain onto just like this if you select strain it's not going to work uh, if you come back to composite it's not going to work but if you select onto uh, you can use also straight into it's going to be great so we are going to stop here for this video on sync thing studio uh, sync thing studio one more time you can create great 2d animation uh, from scratch uh, it is an open source software it is a free software if you search something great to start in 2d animation you can use sync thing studio you like my videos you can also subscribe to my youtube channels and if you want to learn more about sync thing studio Everything is on the first link on the description. You will find all the information, module session, complete course, Sync Thing Studio, master everything, first link on the description. For this, on the next video, see you. Ciao, ciao.